Hey, you're not one of the troopers. Got a second? I have work I need done and nobody here at the camp has the time or inclination to help me out. I handle communications for Camp Forlorn Hope, compiling reports I've received from the rangers at Camp Golf as well as the brass at McCarran. Unofficially, I'm also in charge of radio security. No one else seems to take it as seriously as I do. I have the delightful task of tabulating stockpiles, kill ratios, mission success rates, radiation deaths, and other truly fascinating numbers. I've come across numerous inconsistencies between our numbers and our reports, especially with regards to intercepting hostiles. I'm wondering if our radio security codes have been compromised. I need someone to deliver security code upgrades to each of the ranger stations. The security codes are unique to the radios at each ranger station. They're useless anywhere else. I've been trying to get someone to authorize this update, or at the least get field clearance to leave the camp and do this myself. But nobody takes me seriously. They just think I'm an incompetent desk jockey trying to glamorize the importance of my job. Less than a third of reported enemy sightings are getting intercepted. Either our intel is faulty, or our enemies are one step ahead of us. This holotape contains the updated security codes for the ranger stations. Show it to the comm officers there. Once the new codes are in use, anyone still using the old codes will just hear static if they're listening in on our frequencies. Bye. Welcome back. Glad to hear it. I'll switch over all radio broadcasts to the new encrypted channels. This ought to help us stay a step ahead of any spies. Before you go, I've got another job available. We've received some disturbing reports from some of the Ranger stations. Heavy casualties at Alpha, super mutant legionaries at Delta. The weirdest one has to be the Great Khans and their trained death claws at Foxtrot. These reports can't be accurate, can they? I know you've already been out there, but could you do me a solid and confirm these reports with the rangers who sent them in? Nothing is severe. Charlie seems to be getting a lot of extra medical supplies for some reason, while Bravo hasn't requested a resupply in a while. Echo has been reporting heavy legion activity down on their end, but that's about it. Thank you, and good luck. Bye. Did you need something else? High casualties? We've had one broken ankle, but nobody at this post has died. Do a fucking head count then. Everybody's right where they're supposed to be. Any injury, illness, or death gets radioed to Ranger HQ at Camp Golf. Chief Hanlon and his aides compile the reports and assign reinforcements as needed. And they're not needed here. There are other ranger posts around. Reyes might have mixed up the report. Reyes got the numbers wrong. Not much more to it than that. So long. No sudden moves and you and I will do all right. What do you want? Keeping watch on the river and looking for anyone trying to cross it. The Legion likes to send infiltration teams over on rafts. Best of the best. That's all there is to it. Really nothing more to say than that. No, I didn't. You might hear that kind of nonsense from a drunk trooper on the strip, but not from me. The Legion doesn't have super mutants. Gonna kill you! Degenerate. That patrol was wiped out by its own incompetence. A couple of the troopers were fooling around with a grenade when it went off. See you around. Yeah? You must be mistaken. I haven't filed any report like that. Trained death claws? I would have remembered that.
someone is saying I filed that report, that's a load of crap. I won't have my name attached to a clerical error. Be careful out there. Welcome back. I knew it. Every one of the false reports was signed off by Chief Hanlon at Camp Golf. But why would the Chief manipulate the reports? I need you to take everything we found to Chief Hanlon and confront him with it. I don't want to make this public unless we have to. Bye. Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. Takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now what can I do for you? I didn't realize you were in such a hurry. I get so used to sitting in this chair and listening to radio reports, sometimes I forget people are getting ready for war out there. Shoot. Interesting that she would wrangle someone else into sorting out the problem. But I suppose you're in the right place. A lot of intel comes through here. I don't know Technical Sergeant Reyes, but coordinating intel can be messy sometimes. Things get mixed up, people get confused. Heck, I get confused, and I've been doing this for a long time now. What he or she sees as a problem might be standard operating procedure. That's not to say Reyes is wrong for being concerned, but it's easy for the sand to get in your eyes out of here. Well... The logical thing to do is to check with the patrol rangers and comm officers. Don't be too discouraged if some things don't match up. Different people see different things, and sometimes the meaning gets twisted, lost in static from person to person. It's a simple system when it works. Patrol rangers radio intel to ranger stations. Comm rangers send the intel up the station chain until it reaches Camp Golf. Then I, or one of the other rangers on duty, organize the data, evaluate it, and send information to camps or troopers in the field. Com rangers might have an incomplete picture of the situation. There's a lot going on out there. Intel needs to be coordinated through golf so we can verify and advise appropriately. Troopers have enough to deal with. We don't want them questioning their intel. Shoot. Hold on. If we're gonna have this conversation, let's go somewhere more private. Don't worry, not much bite left in this old dog. Sorting and manipulating intelligence is what I do. It's what rangers are supposed to do. This job isn't all gunfighting and gulping shots of whiskey, no matter what the boys and ladies out there say. You have, have you? Misdirection. When you're pinned down, outnumbered, and two days from any help, it's just about the best friend you can have. Misdirection's what saved me all these years. It's what saved us at Hoover Dam. 
But it's been five years now, and Caesar's right across that lake. He's closer now than he ever was before. I was a young man once. I know what it's like to want to fight for your home. But this isn't it. It's never going to end, this fight with Caesar. People back home don't know what these young men and women are in for. The Legion is the worst enemy we've ever faced. But we can't stop Caesar here. Not without getting a lot of good people killed. More than anyone cares to count up. But even if we do stop him, I don't see how we're ever going to be able to pull out. People back home don't listen. They don't care. Senators, Brahmin barons, folks who are just trying to make it from day to day. It's been so many years that people forget about it. Conscription brings in fresh troops to die here every month, like it's routine. And even if we hold this dam, what then? Are we going to send the NCR's men and women to die here for another five years? Ten? Patrol the whole length of the Colorado for hundreds of miles? Holding this dam, it'll be the death of us. Creating fear and instability among the troopers without causing harm. It's the only thing I could think of to shake things up. It took some people getting killed to realize I'd gone too far. I had to stop. We're fighting on their behalf, but Mr. House and the families are stringing us up inch by inch. They'll drain us dry while we fight and die over this dam. We offered them sanctuary in NCR territory before, but they won't listen. Troopers and rangers have been dying here for more than five years while the families sit pretty behind that damn wall. Hold on. This is Ranger Headquarters. There might be a dozen Rangers with an earshot. Think twice before you decide to give the old chief a gut full of lead. Well, you got that right. Watch Whoa. out! Watch out! Come on! Whoa. First thing that comes to mind is to turn me in. But that might not be the best play, all things considered. Even if your heart's in the right place, I reckon it might do a lot more harm than good. Oliver can't stand that Rangers got credit for victory at Hoover. Whatever I recommend, he does the opposite. I said I wanted us on the ridge. He put them right on the western part of the dam itself. We don't have enough firepower to hold that spot. If the troopers fall back, and they will, the rangers will advance to cover Oliver's retreat. We lose the dam. Oliver and the center are ruined. Rangers are volunteers. Every man and woman who signs up is willing to die for the NCR, myself included. A lot of this is my fault. It's only right that I stand with them. Maybe 50 rangers will die on that dam. We lose over a thousand troopers every year. Being here is crazy. Getting out's the only sane thing to do. I don't know if you're working for Caesar or if desperation's made me a heck of a lot more persuasive. Either way, this is the right thing to do. Now, I trust we're done discussing this. I'm going to step through that door and pretend like we never had this talk. I don't believe there's anything left for us to talk about. It's a gamble either way. Even with Caesar gone, we still might not outlast the Legion. I suppose that's a risk I'll have to take. For our sake, I hope you're right. I guess that I should thank you for bringing me to my senses. So, uh, thanks.
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna walk out that door and pretend we never had this talk. Hey, what did Chief Hanlon have to say about those false reports we uncovered? Wait, what? Why would he do that? The Chief should have known that the NCR is too stubborn to back down from anything, even when it's for the best. While I'm glad it wasn't an enemy who was spreading lies and killing morale, I'm disappointed that a legend like the Chief felt he had to do it. Fair enough. You want to do this the right way, go get one of the Rangers. Don't worry, I'm not going to run out on you. Like I said, I won't run out on you, but I can't let my people get dragged through the mud for this. You did good and you did it well. Work a ranger would be proud of. I'll handle the rest from here. Go on. Go fetch a ranger and do this right. Rangers, this is the chief. The Legion can count on that. I know I can ramble on sometimes, but I need you to listen close for the next minute or so. I've got some bad news. I messed up. Made a mistake. I thought I could help us get out of here, but it didn't work out. The old chief's finally at a loss for words. Send me all the Legion you can. I'll be waiting for them. That shot came from the chief's office. Chief, why did you do it? Rangers, this is the chief. I know I can ramble on sometimes, but I need you to listen close for the next minute or so. I've got some bad news. I messed up. Made a mistake. I thought I could help us get out of here, but it, it didn't work out. Rangers get injured all the time. It's part of the job. But if you lose a few fingers and get a bad break, that's it. You step down. We rely on each other too much to let our infirmities become a liability. A ranger knows when it's time. Only I didn't. Somewhere along the way, something broke inside me. I couldn't find us a way out of this desert. I wrestled with it, and it took me down a dark road. I wish I could explain it to you. The old chief's finally at a loss for words. Send me all the legion you can. I'll be waiting for him. What? Chief Hanlon? The man's a war hero. Why would he... That just doesn't make sense. This is awful. After the death of Chief Hanlon, the power of NCR's Rangers was broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wasteland. Defying Chief Hanlon's worst fears, NCR's Rangers persevered and distinguished themselves during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers, along with NCR's many troopers, shared the glory of victory. Hanlon wisely stayed out of the spotlight, crediting General Oliver's leadership for NCR's success. After a brief fanfare, Hanlon stepped down as chief and returned to the peace and quiet of his ranch outside of Redding. During the attack on Hoover Dam, Chief Hanlon and his rangers threw themselves into the path of the Legion assault, dying to the last man and woman. In the aftermath that followed in the NCR, bitter citizens and opportunistic senators were quick to denounce President Kimball and General Oliver. Hanlon and his fallen rangers were revered for their bravery and sacrifice. Despite distinguishing themselves during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, 
the Rangers' victory was short-lived due to the courier's interference. Chief Hanlon personally directed the evacuation of the Rangers to Mojave Outpost as they fell back into NCR territory. Bitter over the waste of life in the Mojave, Hanlon stepped down from his post. After a campaign in which he denounced Oliver's and Kimball's hawkish, imperialist ways, Hanlon was elected as the Senator of Reading. Although they performed admirably during NCR's defense of Hoover Dam, the Rangers fell into decline soon after. With Hanlon's plot against the occupation exposed, and Oliver hailed as the NCR's new war hero, many Rangers were greeted coldly on their return home. Few openly blamed the Rangers for Hanlon's treachery, but public and political support for the organization quickly dwindled. With Caesar's victory came a small measure of vindication for the Rangers' late Chief Hanlon. Upon the military's return, debate raged within NCR's Senate about who was to blame for the loss of Hoover Dam. Though some in NCR regarded Hanlon as a traitor, many believed he was the only military commander who saw the futility in defending New Vegas. With Hanlon's plot against the occupation exposed and Oliver denounced for losing Hoover Dam, many Rangers were greeted coldly on their return home. Few openly blamed the Rangers for Hanlon's treachery, but public and political support for the military as a whole quickly dwindled. Due to the Courier's intervention, Chief Hanlon abandoned his plan to sabotage the defense of Hoover Dam. The Rangers assisted the troopers admirably during the Legion's ill-fated attack. Though General Oliver and Chief Hanlon were both praised for their leadership, the Chief quietly stepped out of the spotlight. After a brief fanfare for a life full of accomplishments, Chief Hanlon retired and returned to the peace and quiet of his ranch in Reading. The Rangers heroically assisted NCR's troopers in their ill-fated defense against the overwhelming power of Caesar's Legion. Though many NCR military officers fled the territory soon after the dam was lost, Chief Hanlon remained at Camp Golf to surrender to the Legion. Out of respect for Hanlon's composure and worth as an adversary, Caesar had him beheaded. Despite the late Caesar's respect for Chief Hanlon as an adversary, Legate Lanius had Hanlon crucified along with all the other ranks. Though the courier snatched victory from NCR, only General Oliver was blamed for the loss of Hoover Dam. Hanlon, exhausted from a lifetime of service to the NCR, stepped down from its position in the Rangers and retired to his ranch in Reading.